to day two guys this is going to be another amazing day and i really hope you guys start taking some action and implementing those changes that we're talking about here because the transformation is not on the listening it's not only like oh you know i really i watched the whole video but then if you don't do it if you don't apply it then what all it's going to happen you're just going to waste another hour of your life right and there is plenty of people doing that you know like just spending time listening to content some good content but they are not implementing and the transformation happens on the implementation and just a little recap quickly you know yesterday we talked about morning routine which is so important did to why ourselves to start our day differently you know instead of like reacting to the world you know looking at our mobiles mobile phone you know like rushing you know, to work and not looking after ourselves, ourselves and just, you know, doing whatever comes in front of us, we are taking back the control. We are just dis making decisions, different decisions from the minute that we wake up. That is a game changer. And we're starting, we're waking up anyway. I put the word anyway here because I know that, you know, sometimes that's going to be difficult, challenging if you haven't been waking up a little bit earlier to look after yourself that is a massive shift you know as soon as the alarm went off you know we did a little visualization exercise a little meditation yesterday rehearsing what we're going to do we have a plan there is no you know we, we're not we don't know like what we're doing we actually know what we're doing so we're gonna wake up as soon as the alarm goes off anyway we're gonna be saying to that inner voice i know you're tired but i'm choosing me i'm waking up anyway we're going to drink a glass of water that is going to be next to our bed. Again, there is no excuse to say like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't know where the, the water is. You know, I have to go to the kitchen. I have to No, the, the glass of water is there. You're drinking the glass of water straight away, hydrating your body. And then you're going to start your day with movement and having fun. Remember, you know, like when we're having fun, we're more likely to stick to a habit. If everything becomes like chore, we'll do it for a little bit. This is why diets don't work. And then we go back to our old self. You know, we're just going to listen to three songs, which we have already chosen. We're going to pick our phones up. We're not going to look at the face on Facebook, our emails. We're not going to do any of that. We're just going to press our playlist and we're just going to move. And we're going to start the day with a simple movement, which is walking on spot. You know, the reason I've done this is just to make it very, very simple. There is no excuse. Do it on your pajamas. You don't need new shoes. You don't need, don't need new yoga pants, new exercise bras. You don't need anything, right? So you start the day with movement. So you're changing how your physical body feels already at the beginning of your day. And then we're going to have a plant-based breakfast because like I explained to you guys yesterday, we eat too much animal pro product. So throughout the day, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other opportunities for you to fill your, feed yourself with animal products if that's what you choose. But start your day for plant-based breakfast, you know, giving yourself like some nourishing, you know, foods for your gut to help your gut to move. You know, the stuff that is stuck there, which is not beneficial to your health. This is super, super, super important, you know, to start your day with a nutritious back breakfast so you can focus. You know, people, people are expecting their brain to work, to be creative, to be on the go. Why are they giving nothing to their brain? Our brain takes 20% of the energy that we consume and our fuel is it is really comes from food, from the types of foods that we're eating, you know, and from what is going to become sugar in our body, like, you know, the, the oat milk, the banana, the berries, the, but they are good sugars. You know, this is feeding our brain. You know, don't be scared of like, you know, uh, the, the sugar that goes on fruit. I can guarantee you, if you stop anything, eating anything from packages, and if you eat what I eat, your weight's going to fall off. You're never going to have a problem with weight. And you're going to feel like you're nourishing your body. Right? So this is super, super, super important to start your day with nourishing foods. And we're going to finish off our morning routine, you know, looking ourselves in the mirror and reading our post-it note. Look, guys, I know that... Um, 
you know, you guys haven't done the homework. Gail has, and I'm so proud of her. It takes a lot of courage, you know, to take a picture of that, that little post-it note, I am enough, if you can take a picture of you being on that picture. You know, like on my last challenge, so many people took pictures of their breakfast, right? Which was amazing. But this is a step ahead, is a step further. If you, if you want to change how you feel inside, if you want to own to your, you know, who you are, if you want to start a business, if you want to grow your business, if you want to help people with a message that you have inside of you, this is a step towards this. So many people are online just like scrolling around, scrolling around. Oh, look at what this person is doing. Look at what that person is doing. Look, and they don't even have a picture of themselves on Facebook. How are people going to draw the attention to you, to your mission, to your story? You have to start showing up to the world who you really are. And this is an opportunity to doing that. Take a picture of yourself with your post-it note, I am enough. I have been there, guys. I wasn't even on Facebook until 2019. I was not even on Facebook. It was very difficult for me and challenging for me to start putting myself out there, to putting my story out there. But you know what? I realized if I don't put my story out, out there if I don't start like making videos putting my pictures and putting myself out there you know what's gonna happen I won't be able to fulfill my dreams I won't be able to help people I won't be able to tell my mission and my message and my purpose you know it's just back to that the feeling like oh no poor me why do I have to do all of this why do I have to like put my picture up and why do I have to talk about my vulnerable stuff because how, how else are the people going to know who you are? How are people going to get to you? People want to know who you really are. They are tired of like edited pictures, people with full of makeup, like this like stage stuff. People want to know who people are for real. And this is your opportunity. This is a step like there is only 120 people in this group. There is, a, there is about 25 people that are not in this group yet because they didn't have the courage enough to answer the questions to join the group. How are you going to show up to the world if you can't answer questions to join a, a free challenge group? Guys, this is, this is all, everything is counting for you to build a different identity, a different person, for you to start feeling and being you are enough. Right. The first time that you take a picture of yourself, you might be like, oh, my God, you know, you know, I'm not sure about this. But when you do it, you think, you know what? I feel proud of myself because I've done it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm really, really proud of what I've done and what I have accomplished. You know, so many people answer the questions, no, I want a million dollars. You know, let, let's look at the people out there that are advertising. Hey, this is how much money I'm, I'm, I'm making a million dollars. Are they putting their pictures out there? Are they scared to talk about their vulnerable stuff? No. They are talking about their vulnerable stuff every single day. And I think, you know, when you talk about this, I am enough, and, you know, this morning routine, it sounds so simple. And it's very easy for you to glaze over this and go to the next video, hoping that, you know, a next video, a next free thing is going to give you the answer to, you know, get, you know, like this jump into Nirvana, you know, this jump into like, you know, I'm a, a Zen master in a cave, you know, naked in the cold and I don't feel the cold. You know, this jump onto like, you know, I am now, you know, feel like I am worthy of a million dollars. This is what's going to make you worth, worthy of a million dollars. Because this is your decision of making yourself putting yourself first. This is what's going to make you worthy of health, of living the life of your dreams now, not tomorrow when you have the million dollars, but now. It's these small things that you do each day that it's going to make you feel that you are enough. This is not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this doesn't happen overnight. You know, this kind of feeling like, oh yeah, I really feel I'm enough. This doesn't really happen like, 
overnight. And if you have been in my world for a long time, you know I do not promise quick fixes or magic pills that happens overnight. This is not me. Right? So if you start doing this, following this, all each day, you know, you get closer to the feeling of I am enough. I can guarantee you, this is a guarantee. Like, this is no lie. I can guarantee you, if you start putting yourself first in the morning, if you choose you, even after these five days, you're going to feel different. Because normally, my clients, after we, you know, change a few things in one session, in the next session, they feel a massive difference in their well-being, in their, how they feel about themselves, physically and emotionally. So this is looking after your physical health and this is looking after your emotional health. And this is why the I am enough is so important. Because otherwise it's going to be another diet plan that after these five days, if you're lucky, you're going to follow for another five and that's it. This is long lasting changes, you know, and I wrote here, you know, the objective is that we, we work on long lasting changes. I started here. I'll tell you right now what I've done this morning. I've done a half an hour meditation this morning. I woke up at 5.15. I meditated for half an hour and I did yoga for one hour today. And I ate my oatmeal this morning. And after that, I started working. So this, I started here, 10 minutes, no joke. You know, the alarm clock with like, I was not a morning person. Don't look at me and think it was easy for me to become a morning person because it wasn't. I just made a decision, an inner decision that unless I started putting myself first, I would be getting sick again. And I did not want to get sick again. And this ignites the fire inside of me to do it over and over again. Until I connected to the real reason why I was doing it. I was doing it for me because I, I, I love myself. I feel I am enough. I feel like I'm worthy to spend that whole hour and a half. I love I, that whole hour and a half. is so sacred to me. So what we're trying to do here is long lasting changes. You know, changes that are we going to feel at a deeper level, at a soul level. You know, this is not a quick fix. This is really not a quick fix. It's a shift on how, how you feel about your habits. You know, if you feel like, oh my God, you know, like, why do I have to exercise? Why do I have, you know, like to eat this, you know, plant-based, plant maize? Plant Just ask yourself, how's it working out for you to do whatever you're doing? or to have been doing whatever you've been doing for the last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Are you in good health? Are you in good physical health? Are you in good mental health? Are you in good emotional health? If the answer is yes, just keep doing it. But guys, if the answer is no, unless you start recognizing that you need to change something, nothing is gonna change. You are the only one who can change your life. And this is why I talk so much about taking responsibility. Yeah, I could have said to myself, you know, I don't need too bad. Yeah, I was exercising twice a week. I, would decide, I used to cycle to work, eight kilometers. That and eight kilometers back. And then I was diagnosed with cancer. I could have hold, held on to this. Oh, but I exercise twice a week. Oh, but I, I really eat healthily. Oh, I don't drink that much. Guess what? I wouldn't be where I am today. Recognizing that you are not where you want to be. Recognizing that you are not waking up full of energy. Recognizing that you are not where you want to be emotionally and mentally. It's really, really important in the process. Because then you can start connecting yourself with this really deeper. I, I'm just, you know, people, and I would say, you know, we are driven by pleasure or pain. But, you know, until you are like, I've had enough of this life. I've had enough of waking up exhausted. I've had enough of going to work every day in a job that I hate. I've had enough of not being successful in my business. I've had enough of not living the life that I want to live. Then they do something about it. But guess what? You were the only one that can do something about it. 
you know, just putting this strong facade on the outside and feeling like a victim on the inside. Oh, you know, why is it not so? Oh, you know, she's got better genes than I. That's why her body is much better. Oh, she's not as old as I am. You know, I'm 42 years old and I am in the best shape of my life. My body is now better than when I was 30 years old. A million times better. I don't remember in my 20s feeling like I feel now. Why? Because I abuse my body day in, day out, day in, day out. Guess what? The results were catastrophic. Because I had a stage 3 back cancer diagnosed at 38 years old. Do I want to do that again? No. Do I make different choices every day? Yes. So it's a shift on how you feel about your habits and making a decision on why you're doing this. It's so important. Don't do this to get the results tomorrow because you are not going to get the results tomorrow. Guys, let's just think, think about this logically. If you have been abusing your body for the last 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, if you are expecting results tomorrow or instant results, you are just, you're just in for the wrong reasons. Like, I was in awe by what my body did for me for 12 sessions of chemotherapy. Getting bombarded with chemotherapy, you know, like, I was on, I was on chemo for 48 hours, two days, you know, injecting chemo in my body, inject, inject, and my body came back every time, came back every time, came back every time. I, know I was not even eating as healthy as I eat now. I finished chemo feeling stronger, and, you know, I have so much respect for my body. And, you know, my body is no different than yours. We can all, all build this connection to our bodies. We can all build this um, respect, this self-respect, this love to our bodies. We can all do that. If we do it for the right reasons, if we stick around, if we stuck to the process. And today, guys, I'm going to be talking about something that I think it really, you know, there's a lot of people that answer that on their questions, you know, around procrastination, you know, lack of discipline, and they want more focus, and, you know, they want to, to, to stick to, to better habits, to stick to things for longer. And, you know, and I think instant gratification is, uh, today we're going to talk about one habit in particular, which I think it's being very, very um, uh, dominant in people's life these days. And I want to ask you a very, very uh, real and honest question here. You know, how long do you think you spend on social media every day? I'm pretty confident this is not going to be a popular question because nobody wants to talk about this, right? Everybody wants to, you know, tell themselves, oh, I'm really busy, I'm really busy, I'm really busy. And really, if you looked at their settings and their time, the time that they spend on social media, they're spending hours on social media, hours. Hours that they could be cooking healthier meals, hours that they could be doing exercise, hours that they could be doing meditating, hours that they could be acting on their business, hours that they could be working on their inner healing. And yet they're going to this loop of this rabbit hole of scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, I'm doing something. I'm being productive. Right? You know, there's some new studies um, that sh demonstrate, that shows from Harvard University that social media, it is addicted physically and psychologically. You know, they they've measure people's brains and their social media ignites the same lights as when you take a, um, addictive substance. This is kind of this like big elephant in the room, right? Nobody, nobody wants to talk about this. You know, if you watch, there is a, a Netflix documentary that's called um, uh, The Social Dilemma, which is an eye opener of people that work in the biggest names like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Google, emails, you know, and they talk about it like openly. Now I was addicted to my emails. I don't want to allow my kids to go on social media. You know, because they know how damaged it is. Because they know all they are doing is trying to get your attention over and over and over again. You know, it's, and it's really interesting because, you know, when they are, they are talking in this documentary and every time they show this little person that as soon as he hooks up onto Facebook, it's like he becomes like this little muppet. 
and people don't realize that um, what's happening is you are, you are muppet of the social media. You know, it's 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 an area of your of your life that uh, you basically you think you're in control, but you're not. And why why am I talking about this? Is because people are spending so much time on social media that it feeds this this obviously the procrastination and the lack of self discipline and the lack of uh, focus especially because you know you're scrolling as fast as you can and you you know your your brain's going here that and everywhere and it's feeding to the instant gratification right i post something how many likes do i get you know this this is the when they're doing this research you know this is their marriage oh, somebody liked my post or somebody you know commented on my post and when you don't get that you know you get this kind of you know feeling of like oh you know like you know nobody likes my post and people are living, living more and more conditioned to what happens in social media. You know, I get so many like messages and people like I look at them. Well, one, they don't have a picture. I'm not sure who they are. Two, I mean, I looked at them and I just, is this even a person? You know, people can hide behind social media, pretend that they're somebody else. You know, it's a whole different world out there that feeds into this like, you know, like I, I can hide myself here and just procrastinate and, and, and create this vicious cycle of thinking that I'm doing something when I'm not doing anything. And when I procrastinate and I have a lack of self-discipline and a lack of um, focus. And I think if you can nail this habit, you're going to get so much time back. You're going to stop wiring yourself every single day for instant gratification and you're going to start feeling a big difference in your being you know because you know let's honestly talk about this you know like if you if you are on social media you are for three reasons right like you are either for business you're either for fun or learning if you are on social media for business you know, you're still going to be working an X amount of hours and you'll be posting your content. You'll be connecting to people and, and talking to people. If you're not doing any of those three things, then what you're doing for your business is an illusion because you're not taking any action. Right? If you're not posting, putting yourself out there every day and connecting to people and talking to people about your business, about your mission, what you're doing is an illusion. You know, if you are there for fun, I mean, like, again, you can't spend hours having fun because if you're, you know, people, people always claim I'm so busy, but I would say like, I don't know, if you can spend half an hour for fun on something every single day, that's a lot, given our lives are so busy. Or you're there for learning. But that, the, I, again, you know, like if every day you're watching a free video, but you're not implementing anything, again, this is an illusion because you're not learning anything. You only learn when you implement something. So today, I want you to think about it. You know, are you on social media for business? Fun? Or learning? And the homework is to pinpoint exactly where you sit with those. You know, it could be the three of them, but I want you to give yourself a limit of how much time you're going to be spending on this. Because like I said, you know, like the business, you can't spend, you can't spend like eight out, you know, 10 out, 12, like let's face it, unless, you know, you're just writing content, you're talking to people, you're doing things that are going to be generating you an income. You're putting your story out there every day, you're posting every day, you're connecting to people every day. If you're not doing any of that, all you're doing is an illusion. If you're there for fun, again, you know, like you need to put a limit on this because what happens with telling everybody else that you're so busy, you're so stressed and you can't do anything, or you can't cook for yourself, or you can't exercise, you can't meditate, or you're sleeping terribly. So take some time of the scrolling Bring, take some time back to you and put a limit. When you, 
you do your homework and you go business, four hours, bam, 30 minutes learning, 30 minutes, you're committing yourself to something. There is a, there is a, a target, that there is like a number. It's a commitment. You know, research shows that when people say, I will, exist, I will start exercising this year, they don't exercise. But when they say, I'm going to exercise Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you know, from 7 to, to 7.30 at home with this video, that video, that clothes, those clothes, then things happen. Again, take back the control. Don't let you wondering because all that's going to happen, you're going to keep spending hours on social media procrastinating, thinking that you're doing something when you are not, and just wasting your time and living in this vicious cycle of never-ending rabbit hole. You're, you're wiring your brain every single day for instant gratification. You are rewiring your brain to be telling yourself, oh, I'm doing something, I'm doing something. You know, if you're learning, again, like, let's say if you're listening to 30 minutes or one hour, unless you're implementing this, you know, the learning is just useless because you're not learning anything. So putting, a, you know, a time limit, you're wiring yourself for focus, for discipline and for long-term results. People think that, you know, business is like super glamorous, you know, people are just like waking up and, you know, like having these brunches and not doing anything. And then when they want, they hook up and they, you know, do a webinar and they just talk to a client. The reality of business, guys, is doing the same thing over and over again. And that's why not many people are successful because not many people are prepared to be doing that. The reality of the, the business is having a goal, a long-term goal. You know, not post for a week and expect that you're going to get 10 different clients because you're posted for the whole week. I've had like in the last, uh, you know, a couple of months, people, con you know, people contact me and saying like, why should I be convincing people like to work with me? I was given this gift by God, you know, and like, you know, what I do is so great. Yeah, it's what you do. It's so great. And I'm sure about that. What I do is so great. Well, all of us, like I said yesterday, we have unique gifts. But people are becoming more and more skeptical and people are becoming more and they, they really want to know who you really are before they do any business with you the world is changing you know there's so much free stuff out there that if you if you're not prepared to put yourself out there your real you every single day then it's going to be very hard for you to make it and have your eye on the short-term results, on the quick fix, on like, I'm going to do this so I can get that tomorrow. It's just not going to cut it. So social media is a habit that I believe it's damaging people as well. Clearly, you know, the research shows, you know, brains physically. It's damaging people's lives. Because people are not taking control. Social media can be a very, very useful tool if you if you don't let it control you if you take back the control right people say to me all the time you know like people don't you know even think about it you know like i'm just going to invest in all my business all my business all my business yet they're so exhausted that they buy all these courses they can't even do the courses because they're so exhausted they have a lack of focus a lack of discipline and they don't realize that what they need to fix first is themselves, their health. If you're tired, exhausted, if you can't sleep, and if you can't focus, guess what? There's no point in buying a course. Because you're not going to be able to follow through. To have a breakthrough, you need to be able to follow through with things. You know, I know that, guys. I worked for three and a half years on my health. Day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. Boring, huh? boring you can look at this and go like oh, Jack, this is really boring 
It really boring sitting meditation to find out who you are. It's really boring to, you know, like to get up at every day at five o'clock and go to bed at nine o'clock. Boring. But when I put a post up and say, I received news that I never thought I would. There's no polyps. Your, your gut is perfect. You know, we want to see you in five days. People think, wow. And very quickly, they forget that I worked for three and a half years to get there. So you need to start asking yourself some like really serious questions. How long are you prepared to work for, for your goals? What are you prepared to do? Are you prepared to be doing the boring stuff every day, day in, day out? Are you prepared to break the cycle? This is breaking the cycle. This is making you uncomfortable. This is what we're talking about. He's making people uncomfortable. Taking a picture of yourself, if I am enough, it's making you uncomfortable. You know, there is no growth without putting yourself in a place of feeling uncomfortable. You stop living like a victim and thinking like, you know, God's going to give you everything for free because, you know, they, he owes you something or life owes you something. We are all on the same boat, guys. We have all gone through some pretty hard times. We have all go gone through some pretty good times. But, you know, the people that are making it, people that they give a different meaning for the hard times. People that change how they feel about, you know, themselves, life and everything that was outside of them. They take back the control. They don't allow just Facebook to pick them up like a marionette every single day for three, four, five hours when they lost themselves in this rabbit hole. Think about this logically. This is wiring yourself for real goals, for real focus, for discipline. So guys, if you're brave enough, I want you to write it down. This is the homework for today. What are you going to use social media for? Is that business, is that fun of, or learning? And what is your time limit? Taking back the control all this time that you've been scrolling, you're going to have all this time back that you can focus on, on your business, on, on, on your health, on cooking better meals, in, 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 in all this time that you're going to have back. You know, I must admit that when I, I, I created an account on Facebook in 2019, I was pretty surprised to see that the whole world spend their whole lives on social media. I mean, you know, it, it might be a generation thing. I don't know, I'm 42 years old, but um, it's not my favorite place to be spending time with. I'd, I'd rather spend time in nature. You know, I'd, I'd rather spending time reading a book, to be honest. You know, I am on Facebook. I am on, on social media for my business. And there is a time limit on it. So take back the control in this area of your life because it's very, very very important that's wiring yourself to long-term results as opposed to wiring yourself every single day for that instant reward that instant gratification that you know quick fix you need to do that job you need to take back the control and start having a different relationship on how you want to live your life you know if you ask yourself a question you know would a healthy person which would a successful person spend three hours scrolling on facebook I don't think so. I'm sorry. I really don't think so. Put yourself in an uncomfortable place. Be real. Own yourself to where you are at. And starting really setting yourself some real goals here. Guys, so homework is adding on uh, under here, you know, a comment, you know, what, why you... What, how are you going to use social media for? What are you going to use social media for? Business, fun, or learning, and a time limit on it. You know, this is you setting yourself real goals. This is you. When you write this down, public is a commitment. You know, it, you, you are committing yourself. I am doing this. You know, again, you know, the research shows that if you're, if you're saying out loud, if you kind of really own to yourself, you know, this is what I am changing. It's more likely that it will happen. So again, don't, don't, 
miss the, the, the opportunity to making those little changes because they will compound into a massive result. I want you to imagine yourself, you know, feeling like you are enough, like we did yesterday. Do you think you'll be, if you felt you're enough, you, would you need like people to like your post to feel enough? Would you need like this, this kind of confirmation from the outside of the world to feel happy and fulfilled? No. Because you will know you are enough and you are not dependent on other people. So that is everything that you are doing, that we're doing here. It's wiring yourself to feel different, to be different, to live differently. So you can have more focus, so you can have more uh, discipline, so you can have, um, you know, more self-confidence to be and do whatever you want to do. It's a process, it's a journey. Everything that you do each day starts compounding. I'm a living proof of that. So guys, thank you so much for being here. It's another amazing day. This is homework. You know, what, what are you gonna use social media for? Business, final learning, and what's the time limit that you're gonna give yourself? You know, and it can be like the, you know, the three or the two or whatever, but you know, it's important to just set your goals on stone. You know, like you're seeing this out loud. You're, you are, you are proclaiming this like in a, in a public group. You're saying, this is what I'm doing. No more scrolling. No more looking for instant gratification. No more looking for, you know, staying on this rabbit hole. I'm taking back the control.